Hello, God bless you. Wherever you're watching from, distance is not a barrier. God is not limited by time. God is not limited by space. He is the Almighty God who said to Moses that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did not know me as Yahweh. They didn't know me as the God of Israel. They knew me as the God of the whole universe, the Almighty God. He is right there. He is right here. At the same time, he is not functioning like evil spirits who move from one area to the other. He is omnipresent. Hallelujah. He's not limited by that little device. Maybe you're watching, using your mobile phone, or you're watching your desktop computer. God is not limited by all of this, by any of this. And so the power of God is available right here. It's available right there as a minister to you. The Bible says the entrance of your word, the unveiling of your word, give it light. Light is coming in that area of your life where there is darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Now before I pray, I want to read something very important, very important from the word of God. Remember Jesus said to the Pharisees, the heir, because he know not the scriptures. We want to get into the word so that we will get knowledge and not make errors. Hebrews chapter 2, we are reading from Verse 6, it says, But one in a certain place testified, talking about Psalm 8, Psalm 8, one in a certain place testified, saying, What is man that thou art mindful of? I'm reading from the King James translation. Or the son of man that thou visitest him. I want you to take note. It is talking about man or the son of man not the Son of God. This is very important. Verse 7 says, Thou madest him a little lower than the angels, the Son of Man. Thou crownest him with glory and honor, and didst set him over the works of thy hands. Now if you go to Psalm chapter 8 verse 3, the Bible talks of the heavens, thy heavens, the moon, the star, the sun, being the works of the hand of God, the beast of the field, being the works of the hand of the finger of God. And here it says, God has made man, or he has set him over these works of God's hand. And in verse 8 it says, Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet, including the lions, including the wild beasts of the forest. They are all in subjection under the feet of the Son of Man, not the Son of God. Now, verse 8, we continue, says, For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. Everything is put under the feet of the Son of Man, not the Son of God. <laughs> now, this is important. Oh, Rakashiki Namara. Now, watch this. Verse 8, we continue. It says, But now we see not yet all things put under him. Everything, the works of the hands of God, are all put under the feet of the Son of Man. And it says, We do not yet see all these things put under him. What is happening? What is happening? I want you to know that he's talking about the Son of Man. The Son of Man who lost the glory from the Garden of Eden with the first Adam. Remember there is a second and the last Adam, but we are talking about the first Adam. The first Adam had dominion over everything God made, but he lost his dominion. He lost this. That's why if a wild beast, if an elephant or a, 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 a tiger or a lion appears in a city, you see people scrambling, rushing to safety. Why? Because they lost that dominion. Remember Adam in the Garden of Eden had dominion over all these things. He was ruling over these things. He was in harmony with all these animals. But today, a scorpion, a little insect that passes around, people are running away because they lost the dominion. That is after the first Adam. But when the second Adam came, now watch this. We are reading verse 9. It says, but we see Jesus. That is the second Adam. It says, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should test death for every man. Watch this. 
Jesus was made a little lower than angels. How was Jesus? The Bible makes us to understand that Jesus is God. But how was he made a little lower than angels? Because he became the son of man. He became the son of man. And the son of man is a little lower than angels. But Jesus' position, lower than angels, was for a while. A little while. Hallelujah. That was before he received the Holy Spirit. Because when you receive the Holy Spirit, when you have the Spirit of God, the Bible says you have eternal life. Eternal life is the righteousness of God. It is the life of God which is imparted to your spirit and makes you the Son of God. Hallelujah. And the Son of God is above angels because the Son of God has the Spirit of God. You cannot have the Spirit of God and you are lower than angels. You cannot have the Spirit of God and angels are above you. Angels are not above God. Once you have the Spirit of God with you, you are above angels. You are above angels. That is what he's saying here. The second Adam, he says, we see now Jesus. He was also made a little lower so that he can announce the kingdom of God and bring many back to glory. Verse 10 says, for it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons into glory. That is the second Adam. Bringing back men to the position of dominion. Bringing many back into glory. Hallelujah. Given the spirit of God. Bringing salvation to people. Now if you have Jesus in you. You are not just the son of man. You are also the son of God. For as many as are led by the spirit of God. Are the sons of God. Are the heels of God. Are the matured ones. Not infant. As it is mentioned in Galatians chapter 4. But you are a head and you are a son. Your dominion has been restored. You have been brought to glory. It says to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Verse 11. For both he that sanctified and they who are sanctified are of one. Of which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren. It says... They that sang, uh, he that sanctifies and those that are sanctified. The Bible says he that is joined together with the Lord is one spirit. He who sanctifies and those that are sanctified belong to one. We have been raised to the level of glory that God gave the first man that was lost. Lost in obedience to the devil and disobedience to God. Hallelujah. I want you to know that you are glorified in Jesus. You have been given a position of glory, a position of dominion, a position of rulership. You speak words and those words become law. No doubt the Bible says our angels not ministering spirit that are sent to minister unto those that shall inherit salvation. Why? Because those that shall inherit salvation have the Holy Spirit. They have been lifted from the level of son of man to the level of son of God where they have the Holy Spirit. Now they have angels in charge. Angels come to serve them. They wait for them to dispatch them into the world, to go and fix things, open closed doors, close open doors for them. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus. You are a son of God. If you haven't received Jesus as her Lord and Savior, we're watching right now. I want you to make this prayer. Say, Father, say it sincerely, meaning it from the depths of your heart, so that the God of salvation, the Almighty God is going to give you the Holy Spirit and you will become the Son of God. I feel your praise. Are you ready for this? Say, Father, I thank you for your word. I believe in Jesus. I believe that he died for me. You raised him from the dead for me. Today he is alive. I confess his lordship over my life. And I receive him into my spirit. I receive the power to become your son from today. I receive justification. I receive the Holy Spirit. Thank you for cleansing me. Amen. He just made that prayer. You are the son of God. Now, 
no longer just the son of man. And so you have been glorified. I pray for you right now. Because you have made that prayer, because you are God's son, I declare that every hand of Satan over your life be broken. In the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus now is speaking against those that fight your destiny. That evil spirit that fights your purpose. In the name of Jesus, I speak the voice of Jesus. And I command it to cease its activity in your life. In the name of Jesus. Right now, wherever it is manipulating you from, distance is not a barrier. I declare the assignment of that demon destroyed. May its mission end right now. And I send it back to its kingdom, disappointed. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of stagnation, backwardness, failure, pursuing you from today, I end the manifestation of that spirit in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare your documents are released. I declare that debt is paid and canceled. I declare you are healed. I declare your relationship is restored. Your home is restored. I declare in the name of Jesus, by divine assignment, you are lifted. You are promoted in the name of Jesus. God bless you and thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you again. I don't know you're watching on Facebook, your YouTube, on WhatsApp. You can get to me anytime. There is something very important I must let you know. It is that Jesus is coming soon. That man who gave his life for you, he gave his life for me. He is coming back to take away the church. And God having a conversation with Abraham. When Abraham asked, will you also destroy the righteous with the wicked? He said, no, if I can only find a few. Today he is coming, he will find so many. So he will not destroy the world with us. He will take us out of the world before destruction. And you are one of those who are going. Because you just made that prayer, you just received Jesus. Congratulations again. Any moment for now, live in that consciousness, he is coming very soon. When the trumpet shall sound, the Bible says the death in Christ shall rise first. And then those of us which are remain and alive, we shall be caught up and together with thee that have risen. We will meet the Lord in the air. I look forward to seeing you on that day. And you're going to remind me, man of God, I watched your video. Oh yes, glory be to God. Have a wonderful day. It's all about